Hi, today I'm going to be talking to you about the Vivitar Action Camcorder. We're going to have a look at the specifications, the user interface and the price of the camera. So the Vivitar camera shoots full HD quality which is 1280 by 720. Now if you don't feel like shooting a full HD you can go down to 640 by 480. The Vivitar offers a touchscreen option on your thing. So you can choose from HD or you can choose from SD. You also have a zoom function that will help you zoom in and zoom out. You get to change from video to stills with the touch of a button. You see your battery life, how many hours you have left on a card, and of course your play options. And this is all integrated touchscreen and a two inch system. Now the Vivitar offers no internal memory, which is a big downside to it. It does take micro SD card, but it does not come included in packaging. You can easily go online, you'll find, I found this, 32 gigabytes. It cost me 20 euros, perfect fit. If you try a card that is a lower 4 gigs, 6 gigs, playing back will be hard. It will buffer a bit. I find with the 32 gig, it speeds up. You have no problem with playback. Now, there's no point in me standing here and telling you what the camera does without actually showing you any footage. So now we're going to have a look at a bit of footage I shot earlier. So now that you've seen the footage for yourself, you've been able to make up your mind. If you're thinking about buying a Vivitar, in my opinion, it's a good purchase. It's called the poor man's GoPro, but I don't think it's that bad. It shoots in full HD, which is great. I paid 60 euros, I got a waterproof casing, and all little accessories. You have to buy your own SD card. But at the end of the day, I think the Vivitar is the way forward. 